Hello you guys, welcome back to my crazy channel. Um, just got done recording a sit down video for you guys, so that's why I'm like all done up. Um, but I just wanted to add. Okay, hold that thought. What's that? You have a surprise for me? Whew, okay. So like I was saying, um, it has been a rough past few days. So as you guys know, um, Riker had a double ear infection, um, which now has turned into teething. He popped his top front tooth. Um, he has his bottom two teeth, but he hasn't popped his top teeth yet. So he just popped his top tooth and he has been very fussy and just like has not been happy. I mean, he's been happy, but especially at night. Do you wanna get down, buddy? Now that I've put him down, he'll probably start fussing. But um, anyway, it has been a struggle. So Riker's ear infection, I think that came from a little bit of a cold. So he passed that on to me and I'm just getting over that head cold. I will tell you that Sudafed and Airborne have been my best friends the past few days and I'm very thankful that this has been my four day weekend. Yeah buddy, I'm very happy about that because I've needed every minute of it. Even though I look all like dolled up right now, um, like I said, I just got done sitting down recording a video and my um, tea, the energy from my tea has now worn off and I'm feeling just like lightheaded and I have a headache and I just, you guys, I feel miserable. Like I just need like one really long nap. <sighs> so Riker woke up at like, he woke up like three times last night, probably because he was popping this tooth. Um, I just saw that it erupted through this morning. I gotta take this lipstick off. I just feel like I'm so like, wah. Um, Anyway, woke up three times last night and I was really thankful I was able to sleep in just like a tiny bit. Um, and I usually don't do this, but I had to bring him into bed with me just to calm him back to sleep last night um, and then laid him back in his crib after he finally went back to sleep. So I probably slept in until about 7.30 and then um, came down with the kids and I took the morning, usually on Mondays, what I like to do, especially my Mondays off, um, if I'm working, I'll usually sit down Monday night, go through our finances, like after the weekend, um, see where we're sitting as far as like extra money for the month. I know you guys have asked me a lot to do um, budgeting videos, like how we budget. Um, and that is like one of my key tips is to sit down weekly and reassess, especially after you've gone through the weekend and you have just been tossing out money left and right, going out to eat. Ah, uh, he's in the dog food. Okay, dog food is a new thing that Riker is obsessed with. But anyways, yeah, it's just been like a really rough past couple days. I have a fever and I totally need to sit down. Anyways, I'm gonna take you along with me on this I don't feel good night, I don't know. Oh, Riker is getting into the dog food again. Oh. Stinky boy, you leave that puppy alone. You leave that puppy alone. Oh, stinker boy. I don't think that Kaya's been feeling very good either. Look at the mess that she's made. <laughs> but I don't think she's been feeling super great either because she's just kind of been chilling watching her iPad. And that's really unlike her. Usually she's playing all day. I want nothing to do with her iPad, but today, yeah, she's just been kind of lounging around. All right, so like I said, you guys, we just did a roast tonight. I had this on in the crock pot on high for four hours. Um, and then I did just like a beef broth on the bottom. And then I cut up some onions and then it's just pepper and nature seasons on top, super easy. And then I transfer the juices over to a pan and I make a gravy out of it. It's always the best gravy when you make it out of the drippings. Um, and then I'm doing rice and I also have um, some mashed cauliflower that I'm making. And I just, this is a bag of frozen cauliflower that I cooked in the microwave and then I add a little bit of milk or half and half or heavy cream with a couple tablespoons of butter and then um, I put that in the blender, blend that up. Oh, and also nature seasons, I gotta put that in there too. But then I blend it up and it's just like mashed potatoes, low carb mashed potatoes.
So this isn't the most glamorous looking dinner. Um, but I haven't eaten you all like day. I'm starving. Salt um, you wouldn't like salt. Do you want some pepper? I can do all by myself. Okay. Um, like I said, I haven't eaten all day, so I'm starving, and this will get all of my macros in, but will still keep me at less than 1,500 calories, which is where I need to be at for continuing my weight loss. So, okay, that's enough pepper. So, time to eat up. I'm talking about that beef. Eat the beef. Wow, that was a really good big bite. Not good. That'll fill your belly up so you don't get floppy bones. That's not good. That carrots in here. No, there's not carrots in there. Did you eat super good? Mm hmm. That's so from the spaghetti. Hey, don't <laughs> talk with your mouth full. That's so from the spaghetti. It's so what? That's so fun with my friend. So I didn't say that to my mate. What my best friend? I think that was a saying? dream. You thought that was a dream? This is a dream. That's a dream. Oh, okay. Did you um, have good dreams? Should we take a bath? Guess what? Hmm. My dad, she does little ones. Do you see them? Little what? The earrings. Little earrings? You don't yeah. have your ears pierced though. No, the, the tiny like this. You don't have your ears pierced. I think it was a dream. I think it was a dream. Yeah, I think you had a dream that you got your ears pierced, but you don't actually have them pierced. <laughs> That's just a dream. I know, you want to get them pierced so badly, but you know what? you got to wait until you're older so that you can take care of them. We had to eat healthy food when we get old, right? <laughs> yep, that's how it works. <laughs> so I also wanted to point out, so I got these baskets from Target. They fit in here perfectly. Um, baskets are were 25% off, I think, Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Like a whole bunch of home decor stuff was. So I put these on the bottom. It's looking a little busy in this corner. I need to get rid of this broken chair and like find a place for my mops and stuff. But um, I definitely want baskets on, on the bottom here. Maybe I need like just one, I don't know. I can't decide because I also have my KitchenAid down here, but this is all my filming stuff that I keep in this basket so that it's just like ready and like out in the open for me to grab so that I can like vlog on the go or whatever I may need to do. But anyways, I thought these baskets were really cute and they went together nicely. Not in the garbage, Aspen, you naughty girl. Don't. Just a little bit busy. I need to take some things down. And I need to clean that corner really badly. Riker. Riker, did you eat your nummies? <gasps> you have mashed cauliflower in your face and rice in your eyes. He had beef, rice, mashed cauliflower, and he had puffs. Doggy pile. See that one smashed in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
for these forever roses for a long time um, and I got mine from Rose Forever. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. Um, I just wanted something really simple, chic, something that I could eventually put in my closet because we're gonna turn it into like a glamour closet and vanity um, very soon. But um, just something like super classy, simple. I didn't want like too big of one. Um, so I got their nine piece, which is the small. Um, anyway, anyways, I knew I was going to get some questions on this. So I'll have this link down below for you guys as well. Um, yeah, just like super classic, simple. How cute is that going to be in my vanity room once we get it all finished up? I'm super excited to see what it looks like. They have like... This is like a suede box, which is what I was looking for too, was like a black suede. Um, I do have to dust it quite a bit, but that's okay. And the roses are beautiful, just like a white rose. Very, very classic, clean and simple. All right, so tonight Mike and I are dividing and conquering. Mike is giving the kids a bath upstairs. Usually I will leave bath time to him, um, especially if I've been with the kids all day. Um, like I said in my last video, I will be doing an in-depth night routine for you guys. I'm not recording that tonight. I'm showing you like a little bit more of like a relaxed version of like a night in my life, if you will. Um, but I wanted to show you guys like a working mom night routine and how I prep for that 5 a.m. Um, wake time, which I will be doing tonight as well a little bit, but um, when I get home from work, typically um, during the week, it's like 6, 15-ish. Um, so anyways, I want to record like exactly from the moment I walk in the door tomorrow until I go to bed. I want to show you guys the entire thing so that I can be as real as possible um, instead of me like staging it tonight and like pretending like it's a working mom night in the life routine. Um, I'm at the very last day of my four day weekend. So I like to say I'm like a combination of a stay at home mom and a working mom. I get the best of both worlds, which is really nice. Um, mostly a working mom, but um, I do really like my schedule and I work, like I said, in another video, I work four tens and then I have um, a four day weekend twice a month. So, okay, so Alcoda has some water. I am gonna ooh, get over this gate. It's the Mama Baba run clip. Hi, Nika boy. Baba, here you go, sir. Well, my cousin gotten his jammies on yet, so I guess I will do that quick. Someone was super tired and fell asleep with the lights still on. I just gave him his antibiotics and he passed out. You checking on him, bud? <laughs> I was going to tell you guys really quick that I also got these baskets for the kids' room. Um, we need to get like a wire hider thingy, um, but these baskets, like it's just a mess. Um, these baskets fit here perfectly. I might even move the baskets so I get two more and put them up there as well, um, but we'll see. We need so much more storage in this room. We're like overflowing with toys everywhere you look. We need to also donate some, but... Hey guys, I just got done getting Riker into bed. Laundry's done. Stop, he wants to give me kisses. Stop. Um, okay, so like I said, I just got... Mom, somebody laughing me up. Oh, take your loofah off your foot. Hey, you're naked. Go back in the bath. Okay guys, so I got Riker sleeping. I ran up and down the stairs like 50 times. I had to go get his antibiotics, grab my computer, and grab my purse. And I am officially sweating. If you're not sweating by the end of your nighttime routine with kids, are you really even, I don't know. All right, I've got a little girl yelling at me to come get her out of the bath. So I, oh, just, mm, I can't talk, mm, buddy. 
to ask him to move and this is what he does. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm talking to you. Okay guys, I am going to end the vlog there for today. Wow, the sass coming from my four year old is intense. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog there for today. <laughs> I'm coming! On that note, I'm gonna end the video there for today. Um, I will see you guys in a couple days for my night routine and then stay tuned a couple days after that for my morning routine. <sighs> Alright you guys, do all the things. Make sure you're subscribed before you leave. Join my crazy family here on YouTube. Stop trying to kiss me. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go. Okay, peace. Bye guys. <laughs> Look at this face he gives me. <laughs> I'm coming, okay, right. <laughs>